Welcome everyone. Here I am again with a question. So last time we did uh, some weight transfer questions, and here I am again come up with a new question. So in this question, we are going to talk about the maximum cornering speed and lateral weight transfer and the longitudinal weight transfer. So I did this question and now I'm going to show my answers and I will explain step by step so you can understand the, all the things. So let's go. Yeah, this is the question date given data and I sketch it. So let me show you. So here this is the front view of our vehicle and this is the side view so when we talk about this front view in the when the vehicle is uh, taking a corner so we can see the this is the one reaction force so this is another one and this is the cent uh, center of gravity and this is the centrifugal force and this is the weight and this we can get as a track so here this is the friction force in the when we talk about the side view here this hm is equal to height of the uh, center of cavity and this is the front wheel reaction force and this is the rear wheel reaction force uh, so the what do we call the wheel base is we yeah, are showing by L. So let's go to the first part. This is our first part. We have to find the maximum covering force, covering speed. So last time we did the same type question. So we are going to solve this question. So here this is my sketch. So I mark the all uh, forces. So First of all, we need to um, we need to divide all forces to vertical axis and horizontal axis. So, in in the horizontal way, we have only a friction force and centrifugal force. The friction force is equal to here centrifugal force. So, solving this, we can get the Ans uh, we can get the answer so when you are talking about the vertical way we have only reaction forces and the uh, weight of the mass so that weight of the mass is equal to reaction forces so here we can substitute those reaction forces so using that we can get the final answer so that answer the maximum covering speed is equal to square root mu gr so this is our first part answer so you can go to the question and you can again read and read the question so basically uh, first of all you have to get the basic idea what they are telling and what we are need to find so when we talk about the second part second part we have to find the lateral weight transfer during the cornering we know when the vehicle getting a cornering uh, the inside the force inside the in, inside wheel has um, reaction force and outside will also have reaction force but some kind of weight is transferred to inside force to outside force so here before we are solving this question we need to find we need to sketch the small sketch and we I considering this a point here when we have considering this a point so we have we can get this 
mass of the mass of the car so here to here distance i get t divided by 2 because we, we know here this is the middle point so this one also getting we can write here t divide 2 and here also t divide 2 so same thing in here that mg multiplied by t divided by 2 is equal to mg squared divided by r that centrifugal force multiplied by here to here distance is equal to hm and plus there is another force so when you are getting this r1 we are considering this t distance so in here that is equal r1 multiplied by t so when we, we need to subject the r1 so we can get the answer mg t divided by 2t minus mv squared hm multiplied by divided by rt so here we know this r1 and r2 equal to mg because the in the vertical forces we have only r1 r2 and the mg only so you see uh, then we can substitute this r1 to here then we can get the value for r2 so r2 is equal mg minus mg divided by 2 plus mv squared hm divided by rt but in here when we are considering this kind of case we know in the cornering in the cornering cornering uh, this r1 and r2 are not um, in in the corner in the cornering this r1 and r2 is not equal to m divided by 2 but when we are talking about uh, talking about the uh, not cornering scenario this r1 is equal to r2 is equal to uh, mg divided by 2 so here my mistake here should be r2 so using this information we can get here r1 is equal here we this is the this is the here we can cut the t so here r1 is equal mg divided by 2 so we can use here that r1 in in here so we have only this part mv is squared multiplied by hm divided by rt same thing we are going to do when you are so considering this part we can get the final answer as uh, mg divided by 2 so in here r2 is equal we can we know here r1 and r2 is equal to mg divided by 2 here also we can put r2 so and plus here mv squared multiplied by hm divided by rt so in the answer is the lateral weight transfer during the cornering here we know in the sign is minus and here sign is plus it means some kind some amount of weight and here in this r1 force it lost some amount of weight and in this r2 they take at that uh, amount of weight 
that's why we are getting the here minus and plus so considering this we know answer is the same so the lateral weight transfer is during cornering is mv squared multiplied by hm divided by rt so this is the que second question answer for the second question now we are moving to third part here we need to find the longitudinal weight transfer during the accelerate we know this is the sketch so when we are doing the accelerate, accelerate we know the some some amount of weight transfer from rear wheel to sorry uh, front wheel to front from front, front wheel to rear wheel so according to that so we can uh, solve this question but the here we don't know what is the acceleration so because of that we can get as uh, a a as a acceleration so in here also we are considering horizontal and vertical axis in the vertical way we have only vehicle, vehicle weight and reaction forces so here r f plus r r is equal to mg and same same thing when we are considering this a1 we can get v mg multiplied by x here why we are why i am getting this x because we know this length is l but we know this length is l but actually we don't know what is the value for this point to this uh, center of gravity because of that i take uh, uh, that distance as a x so here we can write the l minus x so according to this the when we considering a point mg is equal to there is only r f rf force we are not getting this fc equal ma because in here a is equal zero after that only that a is equal to a so in this time there is no force it means we have only rf that rf is the distance is l and l and here rf is multiplied by l so we need to subject the rf the rf is equal mg multiplied by x divided by l so we take it we we took that uh, answer and we need to again find the uh, rr so find this rr we can use this equation we can substitute that rf value to here and we can get the answer this so after we know when the vehicle is get the acceleration the acceleration is equal to a c a that a is equal to a this is our assumption so now we have f force and uh, uh, mg rf and rr so again we are considering this a point we can get f uh, this force i i uh, put it as a ma so that ma is multiplied by hm so we know in here to here distance is hm so again now we have you know in this forces act on this here so here to here h h so in here we have only rf so rf to this direct this distance here l and these two forces is equal to mg mg is acting on this way and here we know this distance is x 
now we can solve in this equation we can get the value for the rf that rf is equal mgx divided by l minus ma hm divided by l so here the new rf is we need to get this is the after acceleration answer this is the before acceleration answer so we need to find the new rf it means we need to subtract uh, this fr uh, from this rf so here uh, this rf new rf is equal so after acceleration rf minus before acceleration R, uh, rf here this answer so in order to do that we can write mgs divided by l minus ma hm divided by l and minus we are getting this before rf it means this value so we can get this answer again we need to find the same uh, rr to find this rr we can do the same step doing this same step again we can find the new rr it's equal to this value and here you can see again here sign is plus and here sign is minus because we know we weight transfer from the front wheel to rear wheel so here we know value rf and it lose some amount of weight and here we know this is the rr this rr at that amount of weight according to this we can get the answer as a ma multiplied by hm divided by r because we know we 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 got same the same answer but the only the difference is the sign so in here we need to write here the we we don't know what is this axer uh, a here we got acceleration as uh, a and here in the question we know the m is the mass hm is the the height to center of cavity and r is equal to radius uh, so we need to clearly mention this a is equal to acceleration so that's all today so we solve the solve this equation uh, we solve this question uh, using the using some sort of equation so i think you got the point and you can uh, solve this question alone so thank you for this video so i will come up with another question in next day so thank you all